The range function in Python has some uncommon features. Do you know all of them? Give my range object r with values from 0 to 1000 in steps of 2. We can use the length function to check how many values the range object contains. Easy, right? But did you know that you can access several items of the range object using the indexing on the range object? For example, we can use the index 0 to get the first and minus 1 to get the last item. When we run this, we get back the length and the two values. If you knew this, let's see if you also know that you can do membership testing on a range object using the in operator. For example, we can check if 25 and 26 are in the range object. If we print this, we get back the boolean true and false. Did you know this? If so, here's another one. Even that the range object is not a list, we can use slicing on it. And that's as simple as you think. We simply can create a subrange object by slicing the R object from index 2 to 4. To visualize this in a print, we have to transform it to a list first, as shown here. When we run this, we get this list back. And the last one is same with slicing, but you can use it as well to do slicing with steps. Here we create a sliced range object by picking every second element from the start to the end. The double point double point 2 means start from the beginning, go to the end and take every second item. If we print the transformed list of this, we get back all even values. Did you know all of them? 